Let me tell you what scares me shitless uh, about the debt ceiling fight. The Republicans seemingly haven't read about it. So they have no idea what the economic consequences of it are. In fact, let me give you some specific quotes. These are all from just today. And if I were to go back and try to read all these older articles and do a search for it, I could probably find a list of like 50 quotes or so. Representative Joe Barton, Republican of Texas, said, quote, Bills only need to be paid partially, like my household budget. I'm not going to vote for the so-called debt ceiling. Couldn't be more clear. I'm not in favor of uh, raising the debt ceiling. Senator Tom Coburn, Republican of Oklahoma, quote, There is no such thing as a debt ceiling. Some of these are so stupid, it gives you brain freeze uh, even thinking about them. Rep uh, Representative Ted Yoho, Republican of Florida, quote, not raising the debt ceiling would bring stability to the, mar to the world markets. Oh, God, man. Now, uh, let me give you the actual information on the debt ceiling. Uh, the debt ceiling is about the money we've already spent. So by not raising the debt ceiling, what the United States would be saying is, we are not going to pay the bills we already racked up. That's the same as you saying, I know I have a credit card bill for $3,000, but I'm just not going to pay it. Sorry. Or I know that my mortgage is due this month and it's $2,700, but I'm not going to pay it. Oh, I know my, I'm, uh, I owe $370 for my car note, but I'm not going to pay it. That, so that's what the debt ceiling is about. Look, if you uh, say, I think we are spending too much money and I don't want to run uh, deficits or have the national debt as high as it is, okay, that's a tenable position. You know when you debate that? During the budget process. So when you craft the, the budget, you know, have your voice heard and weigh in and try to get the provisions in there that you want and argue for it. There's no problem with that. That's democracy in action. But you can't say, well, I'm not going to raise the debt ceiling after you've already approved the spending. We already did the spending and now you're saying we're not going to pay for it. Uh, again, so you're arguing for a deadbeat nation. Now, what would happen if we don't raise the debt ceiling? Interest, interest rates will spike, and that's going to affect mortgages and lending, not just in the United States, but all over the world. Uh, what, what else would we have to do? Well, we'd have to prioritize our spending, and we'd have to figure out uh, who we'd pay and who we'd snub. And who are the first people to get snubbed? Uh, people accepting Social Security, people on Medicare, people on Medicaid. Our veterans would get snubbed. Now, you might say, well, Kyle, that's just conjecture. You don't know how they'd actually prioritize it. But we actually do, because Republicans proposed a bill about a month or so ago that um, if we weren't uh, to raise the debt ceiling in time, we would prioritize paying China first. So you have been faithfully paying into Social Security your entire life, and when you, it's time for you to accept it, you're simply getting back what you're owed. It's, you're not a moocher, you're not a parasite, it's not like you're you know, accepting something that you don't rightfully deserve, you paid into the system your entire life, right? But what they do is prioritize and say, nope, sorry, you paid into the system, but we're, we're not going to pay you back. So they would be robbing you. They would be robbing you. Uh, also, the dollar would immediately get devalued. It would get devalued tremendously. We would be thrown back into a recession. According to top economists, they say that uh, unemployment would go to about 18%, and some say even higher than 18%. Now, how high is 18%? Uh, well, to put that in perspective for you, that's not a number that we hit during the Great Recession. In fact, uh, the unemployment during the Great Depression peaked at about 23% or so. So we're in Great Depression territory if we don't raise the debt ceiling. Uh, also, 32% of the United States government would stop functioning. It would be austerity of, uh, you'd basically be cutting 32% of the government off and pushing it into the city. Okay, a fragile economy like we're in right now, we're, how we're just getting back on our feet, kind of. You, it, we can't handle that. We can't take it. So my main point here when I say that these guys don't know what they're talking about, no, no, no. They don't know what they're talking about. 